Now it's time to look at a developing story with Renita Young, senior markets correspondent for the network. So Renita, walk us through what has been my pain point all day long. <laughs> you have like Nvidia earnings, then you have AT&T, which just for me returned after seven hours of being down. Hey, listen, the latest about this all is that it's still not clear what exactly caused this service disruption, right, for AT&T, Verizon. AT&T was the most affected by it. But so far, the latest is that it's been being investigated as a possible cyber attack or hack or something else to that nature by the FBI and the Department of Homeland Security. And people have been able to not make, they've been unable to make calls, text messages, and access the internet. And the problem was widespread, so widespread in some areas that the emergency responders asked people to stop calling 911 so that they could test cell phones. And they're now able to actually use Wi-Fi to call right now. And so a website tracking outages, the downdetector.com website, it said at least 73,000 AT&T customers said cell phone service was not working and that this problem started around 3 a.m. Eastern time. And by about 10, 15 a.m. Central time here in Chicago, we heard that about 75% of AT&T's customers were back online. at and is working hard, they say, to restore the customers who are remaining. But meanwhile, we did see Verizon had around 4,000 users who were out of power at some point, out of service. T-Mobile had about 2,000. Shares for both of those companies also down, along with AT&T. And while U.S. Cellular did see some impact of this as well, some outages, those shares are actually up today. Renita, I just can't understand. I saw the immediate action. Seven hours, my phone didn't have service. I just yeah. can't get it. And I, I'm not even like saying that I needed my phone by any means. I just am frustrated with the fact that we live in a world where there's artificial intelligence, but yet your cellular service is this spotty. I, that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> it should be the last thing to go out, honestly, because we I have know. all these tech advances and backups, right? But it happened, and that's why they're investigating it as a possible cyber attack now, too, because this shouldn't have happened. No kidding. And now it's being, it's like all, trending all over Twitter or X, yeah. what have you, and these shares are seeing outsized volumes. So this is actually impacting the stock, which is, I think, worth, worth exploring into, but appreciate the insight and the breakdown, as always, unfortunately, on a story that has just pained my soul all day yeah. long. Renita <laughs> Young, senior Markets correspondent for the network.